at this point. I wonder if either Sir Anthony or Jonathan, you might like to lead off to connect with Mayor Akiba. I just say that I found that a really inspiring and encouraging address. It, it's uh, fantastic that you've managed to put the energy and impetus into this whole debate that you've managed to do, and I really congratulate you. I think it's a, it's a great, great achievement. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll, I'll comment very quickly. Am I audible? Can I be heard? Yes. So, there, there. Now if somebody's turned it on. Well, greetings, Mayor Akiba. It's very nice to see you again uh, from afar. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Uh, I just quickly comment that I think that what you're doing is exactly the thing that is most needed uh, at, at this moment um, to address our issue. Um, we have a very peculiar situation, which I'll be discussing a bit later, which is what I think of as a kind of movement of officials. Uh, we have lots of retired people in the United States, former secretaries of defense, former secretaries of state. In fact, a, a majority of them who have actually come out really for the first time since 1945 in quite a serious way to uh, call for the abolition of nuclear weapons. Uh, but what we haven't seen to the extent that we'd like uh, is uh, more of what you have successfully done, which is to bring the public into the picture. Uh, so we have Henry Kissinger at the barricades. Uh, but some of the traditional uh, protesters still lolling on their couches uh, uh, at home. And so uh, I just, I just want to say I think you are addressing precisely the most urgent matter of all and, and what, you, uh, what you've done and accomplished. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, may I just comment uh, one thing? Yes, please do. Um, yes, yes, yesterday in Jap Japan time, um, I I uh, went to see Mayor Hiramatsu of Osaka and Governor Hashimoto of Osaka. Um, and just, well, I asked them to be uh, members of the committee you know, that is exploring the possibility and feasibility of holding Olympic Games in Hiroshima in 2020. But what I found really delightfully uh, surprising was that these two you know, leaders of local governments you know, have become advocates of uh, promoting the abolition of nuclear weapons by 2020. Um, well, I, I shouldn't really underestimate their abilities or intentions or, you know, desires, passions, but uh, had I not brought up the theme of Olympic Games to the front, the, it might have taken more time uh, for these two leaders, prominent leaders in Japan, to be a an enthusiastic and very effective and um, anyway uh, inspiring leaders of um, abolition of nuclear weapons by 2020 so quickly and uh, I'm just uh, astounded by the fact that uh, the dreams uh, we have the imaginations that we store in ourselves are you know brought forth uh, by a keyword and a right concept such as the Olympic Games and uh, nuclear weapons combined together you know and I just wanted to you know, report to you these things are happening in Japan, and I'm sure uh, this kind of uh, you know, just a phenomena will be observed everywhere in the world as well. I think it was Gandhi who said if we're to have real peace in our world, we'll have to involve the children, and perhaps yes. the uh, uh, Olympic tactic is one uh, such way to really connect with young people. We'll have to think of more ways to do so. Uh, we'll go now to uh, to the wider forum. I don't know if somebody is just ready to jump in. I see uh, uh, that Doug Roach has a burning question and probably wants to connect with his uh, very dear friend, Mayor Akiba. So, Doug, if you want to enter in, you, you can speak from there. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alexa. And uh, Mayor Akiba, thank you very much. Doug Roach here. Th thank you very much yes. for... Thank you. Thank you for a tremendous address that you've given us. Um, I want to ask you, uh, it's, I think it's, it's well appreciated that President Obama wants to move 
toward a nuclear weapons free world there's also a growing apprehension that he doesn't have enough support even in the united states and even in his own administration and so i'd like to ask you whether mayors for peace which is as you properly remarked tonight is growing in its uh, vitality and its impact whether mayors for peace could find a way to express a resounding support for president obama's uh, vision and his intentions as he showed in chairing the uh, the extraordinary and unprecedented summit meeting of the security council september 24th can mayors for peace take a leading role in giving worldwide support to President Obama. Yes, um, Senator Roach, uh, thank you very much for your constructive uh, you know, suggestion. Yes, um, Mayors for Peace would like to do, well, exactly uh, the kind of uh, things you've just mentioned. Uh, we are exploring uh, what uh, you know, concrete uh, ways we can actually accomplish that. And uh, you know, I promise that uh, will come up with a, a concrete measure um, fairly quickly you know, to address that issue. And also, I would like to mention that the role the U.S. Conference of Mayors um, you know, has played over the years. It, is, uh, you know, it was, at, at least my uh, interpretation of the American history, that it's the presidents that uh, you know, move the nation. But in addition to president, uh, U.S. Conference of Mayors, you know, consisting of practically all the mayors, so sort of grassroots level of uh, activists. Well, mayors are you know, actually activists. Um, you know, this, this group, U.S. Conference, Conference of Mayors, as activists um, you know, have done over the years.